Give it a little mix, not the little max the band. Little max, give it a little max. Oh my god, that was hot! To another video, I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. Today's one minute meal, or this evening's one minute meal, is gonna be spaghetti with beetroot sausages. Bossages. The bossages, because if you're a vegan, you're a boss and you bossage. So what you gotta do is you gotta drain all the water out of your Washed vegetables. Vegetable. Oh, oh no. Oh god. Stick sausages in first. It's gonna be confusing to do this. Alright. I've already done the one minute bill, you've missed that unfortunately. But next one is the sausage jars. Sausage jars. Alright, let's get the sausages. The coconut oil. Coconut oil is very good for you. Very good for you. No fats, I believe. I forget what that's it. Coconut oil in the pan! This is the one minute meal, man. And in this one minute meal, I'm going to be talking about visualization and the power of visualization, what it can do for you, how it can help you, and how it can benefit your life. So, visualization is a very simple technique that every or majority of the pro athletes, the best in athletes in the world use it. And what it does is it allows you to see something before it happens. So if you can see it before it happens, you can essentially hack, hack your mind, hack the, hack the future and choose how you want the outcome to turn out. So the way to, to visualize is literally see it in your mind's eye. The benefits of visualization, obviously, I've visualized from a very, very young age without realizing I was visualizing. I didn't know what it was, but I used to do it when I was around 12 or 13 when I used to ride motorbikes. And I would start visualizing. Oh, let me stick the sausages in. Get your beetroot sausages, bossages I call them, and cut them up. It's crazy what vegan food's out there, you know. I never thought you'd be able to eat sausages that were vegan. It's a new one. Here we go, I was starting to cook up, boy. But yeah, visualization. I did it from a very young age without realising what it was and the benefits were great. I, I started riding motorbikes and when I first started I was awful, literally awful, always coming last every race. When I started visualising, I started to get around better people and they started to make me better. So I was getting better, better and better every single day or every single time I'd ride. So visualisation basically allows you to see the future, allows you to adapt yourself because when you see it in your mind's eye, if you your brain can't differentiate between uh, the dream world and reality. So if you can see it enough times, your brain literally changes. You literally create new connections in your brain and you can become that person. This is why and how the law of attraction, manifesting and all that is so powerful. Because you can see it first, then you can hold it in your hand. You can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Think about how a house is built. You have to see it first on paper before you can build it. So don't try to create a life without seeing it in your mind because you're not going to know what you want. It's very logical when you understand it. Get your veggies! Chop up those veggies. Look at that. Look at that. And just stick it in there. And chopped. And tip it in. Yeah, so the key with visualization is understanding and making it so clear in your mind that it just becomes normal. When you can see it so clearly and it's normal to you, we get what we tolerate, we get what we know, we get what we have. So if you constantly say to yourself, I am, I am rubbish, I am useless, I am ugly, that's what you're gonna believe. Whereas if you say to yourself all the time and you're visualizing, I am successful, you're visualizing yourself successful. I am, I have got great talent, whether it's, I don't know, singing, dancing, uh, a sport, you can become great at sport, whatever it is, it depends what you want, but you can do it very, very, I'm not going to say simply, it takes a bit of time, but long term, the benefits are ridiculous. Right, now I need to turn that back up. Turn it up. Pasta! 
had the open one in my hand thinking I was, there was still another open one, but it's actually this one that went on the floor. Alright, take a handful of pasta. Uh, handful of pasta, stick it in. I've made such a mess already, I haven't even started cooking really. But remember, the more vegetables you eat, the healthier you're going to be, the longer you're going to live, the happier you're going to be. Because remember, it doesn't matter how rich you are, if you're not alive, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how successful you are, it doesn't matter if you're not alive. Nothing matters unless you are alive. So, focus on your health, then attain your wealth, then attain your happiness, or no, happiness first, happiness first. Health, happiness, wealth, in that order. I believe personally. I feel like I'm missing something. Pita bread, obviously. Boil the kettle. Got to do the dog's one minute meal. Pita bread, toaster. Right, you're gonna see it go in. I've got to get a good angle. That's it, that's it, that's what we want to see. Yes. Juan Pita bread, Juan toaster. Straight in, first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at the pit. Oh, I'm getting good at the pit bread flipper into the into the toaster. Pour water. While your meal is looking beautiful, absolutely sizzling, this is the part where you tell them to love yourself. Because this is the most important part. If you don't love yourself. Who's going to? Remember, you are amazing. Have an amazing day, and don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it because you can. Say it. I can do it. Remember that. Never let anyone tell you you can't do it. You can do anything you want to do. There's no such thing as can't. Trying is a made-up word. It doesn't exist. It was made up by people who are lazy. Don't ever say I'm going to try it. You either do or you don't. You can't try and open the door. You either open it or you don't. You can't try and make dinner, you either make it or you don't. And even if it went wrong, you still made it, it just didn't go very well. So failure isn't isn't not doing it, failure is still doing it. Give it a little mix, not the little max the band. Little max, give it a little max. Sizzling up so good as that. Funky veg pasta sauce. And dump it in. Oh my god. Now let it simmer. Just as well as the pasta. Pita goes down. Let the pita go up. You gotta drain the pasta. Drain the pasta. Oh my god, that was hot. That was stupid. was not smart. And if you burn your hand, make sure you wash it under cold water. Put the pasta in the bowl, and add a couple of spoonfuls of your beetroot pasta sauce with the beetroot. And add a cup. And add a couple of scoops of the pasta sauce with the beetroot sausages and the veg. And this is what happens if you're not careful. So you have to eat your food with peas on your hand. I could have put peas in this actually, that would be a nice benefit, but yeah, now my hand's burnt. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from the visualization and I hope you can use it yourself. If you do want any tips with visualization, message me on Instagram. Don't burn your hand when you're cooking, but have an absolutely amazing day. Keep smiling and spreading positivity, you amazing, amazing people. Remember, no one can tell you that you can't do anything because you can do absolutely anything that you want to do.